Hi guys. You know I've been playing with pop pop boots recently. Well, I was in the bargain store today. Home bargains it's actually called. And I spotted these. Gel air freshener. Wild lavender. What's the connection? Quite simple. I thought they looked boat shaped. They're only plastic. Uh, I think it was 45 pence or something for a pack of three. But I thought uh, I'd buy them and then we'll try out one of those as a boat, as a pop pop boat. I'll either dispose of the contents straight in the bin or we might actually try them out, see what they smell like. But as I say, the reason I bought them was simply because they look boat shaped. Fun boat shaped, not sort of high performance boat shaped. Well that's handy to know. I've just run it under the hot tap. And it comes out in a single lump. So there's my boat. And there's my smelly stuff. <laughs> right, just found my receipt. These things, the pack of three of them, sachet three pack gel lavender, 69 pence. So that's 69 pence for three. So that's 23 pence each. And then the other thing I wanted to try out was using these fire lighters for the, instead of the tea light. The only thing is I think they'll probably heat up too much for a plastic container. So I might have to put them either on a heat protector to stop them melting through or make a little metal boat. Well, we'll find out. These ones cost me 85 pence. And these ones cost me Brian and Mayfar just 45 pence. So those were 45 pence for 24 long burning fire lighters. And these were 85 pence for 14. But looking at the packs, they look very similar in size. In fact, that pack's thicker, but you can crush it down. Um, I suppose I could take them out and have a look, couldn't I? Well, I my intention is to cut them up and fit a suitable sized one inside a tea light tray. Well, they look a bit different when you actually open the packs. These are the 24 long burning fire lighters, according to that. And there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Oh, hang on, they've got a dividing line across the back. Not very well divided either. They're out of line. So, yeah, if you break them from the back, they will be 24 of them. But you can see they're the same basic size. These are just a little bit thicker. And these are supposed to be 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so they're 14. They're 24. Spot the difference. Yeah, the, the more expensive ones are slightly thicker. But a very rough guess, I would say that's one centimetre and that's half an inch. Very little in it. Still, look forward to trying them out. Ready to try my new boat shaped uh, whatever it was scent thing. Um, you might recognize that boiler, I have used it before, but I've reshaped the pipes on it. Uh, they go down and then they go up and then they go down again. That was a suggestion from Daryl Foster, who's done lots of pop pop boats. So I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, C 
see if we can light the candle. I'm just trying it in this little um, glass bowl, or whatever we want to call it, just to see if it actually works. Rather than filling the bath up with water. I've got quite a gap there between the candle and the boiler. I could have lifted it up a bit actually. We'll see how it goes. So you can see there's some sort of pinky stuff there. That's the two-part epoxy. I had to reseal the pipes. And that was a bit of extra that ran off. Yeah, something happened then. The only problem there is the tea lights just moved. I'll put some blue tack underneath it to hold it in place. It's not hanging around, is it? making some funny noises. I wonder if it's sprung a leak. It sounds like it's sprung a leak. It hasn't sprung a leak, it's still going. How odd. It's so frustrating when they hang on the side. 
Well, the purpose of this pot pot boot was just to test that little plastic container because it looked like a boot to me. So that's a success. I think we've got a leak somewhere. I can't see it. And that seems to have been the problem. It had run out of water. Gave it a little bit more and we're flying. certainly moves this one mm. I think I saw water dripping so I think we have got a leak somewhere There's definitely a leak in there now. I can see steam coming out the side. Camera's probably not picking it up, but I can see it. Little bit coming out just here, right where my finger is. And it still goes. So I've got a leaky boiler and it's still going. Well, I think we've got more than enough video there, so that'll do. Job done. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.